Hey there, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I just want to take 30 seconds of your time before we get into the video in case someone has stumbled across this video randomly and doesn't realize what the context is. This is a playlist of videos teaching you how to build a FPV, first person view freestyle or racing drone from start to finish. If you've stumbled in in the middle, Go down to the video description, there's a playlist link, start at the beginning of the playlist and work your way through. If you are working your way through this video, I want to remind you that there is a Discord server, a Discord chat server uh, for Quad Camp Online. There's a channel over there where we provide support uh, for the people who are working through this project. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the YouTube comments, absolutely, but if you need a little bit more real-time help, you maybe will get better luck over in the Discord server. Link in the video description. I also want to remind you, thanks to Rotor Riot for helping make this project a reality. And if you are thinking of working your way through this project, you can get all of the equipment for, to build the quadcopter in just one credit card swipe from the Rotor Riot store. Yeah, you can buy the stuff elsewhere as well. One piece here, one piece there. Pay too much for shipping. Accidentally buy the wrong thing. You get it all. And there's a link to that down in the video description. On with the video. All right, folks, you have finished building your quadcopter. Congratulations. Now it's time to set it up. And this part is gonna be a little bit trickier because when we built the quadcopter, I knew exactly what parts you were using and I could walk you through step by step. But some of you are gonna have a Tyrannus uh, X9D, some of you are gonna have a QX7, some of you are gonna have a Fly Sky transmitter. I just, I can't give you every single permutation. Here's what I've done to try to help as many of you as possible get your receiver wired up correctly, no matter what receiver that you're using. I have partnered with the awesome Philip Seidel. Uh, he has a blog, for one thing, and uh, and what he makes for his blog, these awesome wiring diagrams for all kinds of different pieces of hardware. So I have asked him to make me a whole bunch of wiring diagrams for the most common free sky, spectrum, fly sky receivers. And they include not just the wiring, but also how to set up in Betaflight when we get to the Betaflight configurator, how to configure it. And so the link to that is down in the video description. Go download that PDF and it will show you exactly where to put the wires hopefully for your transmitter and receiver. If you get stuck at any point, please remember that there is a support channel for this project on the QuadCamp online Discord server. So go ahead, there's an invitation to the Discord server also down in the video description. Click on that if you need one-on-one -on -one help, uh, that's the best place to get it, or you probably figure it out from the wiring diagrams, I hope. Here's the equipment I'm working with. It's the Tyrannus X9D. This is my day-to-day -day radio. And in the beginning, we're going to do the FreeSky RXSR receiver that I put in the quad. We're going to turn this on. And I've already, uh, this mine's already set up for my quads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to go down and I'm going to create a new model in an empty slot. And I'm going to do that by holding down the enter key and you'll see I have the option create model and I'm going to press the enter key once and it will create a new model. Now at this point it asks select model type plane, wing, or multi-rotor. Don't mess with any of that. In fact some of you it didn't even ask that. Just hit exit. We're going to set this up. I'm now going to press the page key one time and we should be in the model setup screen. And I'm going to go down all the way down to where it says internal RF. You want to see D16 as the mode and that appears to be the default. I want you to change the channel range from 1 to 16. I'm going to highlight 16 and I'm going to press enter one time so 16 is flashing. I'm going to put that down to 1 to 8 and you can see this changes from 16 milliseconds to 9 milliseconds. Uh, doing that decreases the latency of the connection, just a little better flight performance. We'll, we'll be fine with eight channels. And then I'm gonna go down to where it says fail safe mode. I'm gonna press enter one time and change it from not set to no pulses and press enter one time. Now I'm gonna go up to bind and press enter one time. I'll see this screen. So I'm gonna choose channel one through eight, telemetry on, that's the default option. Don't worry, just always pick that. And my radio will start 
making this beeping noise. That means it's ready to bind. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a battery handy and I'm going to hold down the bind button on my receiver. And this is true for all FreeSky receivers. Hang on. Turn that down. <laughs> this is true for all FreeSky receivers. The way you bind them is you simply hold down the bind button while powering it on. Now this is a little bit of a hassle because it kind of takes three fingers to do it. In fact, let me just show you guys. I'm going to actually take my radio out of binding mode because I want you to see what the LEDs do. We're holding in the bind button. I'm going to plug in the battery. Finish plugging the battery. There we go. And what I want you to see is that the green and red LEDs are both on solid. That means the radio, the receiver is in bind mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit bind on my Tyrannus. And I want you to see the red LED begins flashing and that indicates that binding has occurred. So now I'm going to hit exit on my Tyrannus. I'm going to power cycle the receiver. Tyrannus is now out of binding mode. I'm going to power cycle the receiver. And what you should see is one solid green recovered. one solid green LED on the receiver that indicates that it's bound. Now that process is the same for all FreeSky receivers. Hold down the bind button, plug in the button, uh, plug in the battery, then bind mode on the transmitter. In fact, you can do that in any order. You can put the transmitter into bind mode, then plug in the receiver. But you plug in the receiver while holding down the bind button. The exact LEDs are different on a few of the receivers. Some of them don't have that exact LED blink sequence, but that's the process for binding all FreeSky receivers. Now you have created the model on your radio and you have bound the receiver. That's going to do it for this video. See you in the next one.